Welcome to the F5 Networks, Advanced Web Application Firewall, Demo Series. In this demo, we'll show how to use the built-in Big IP Advanced Web Security Policy Logging and Reporting. This is Demo 19 of the AWEF Demo Series, and it's intended for intermediate level Big IP Advanced Web users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to submit a massive amount of malicious requests to a web application. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running Advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of, and protects, the backend web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request, and can block every malicious request, and prevent them from going to the backend web servers. We're going to start by simulating numerous malicious requests to the DVWA web application using an iMacro in Firefox. As you can see, these malicious requests are all being blocked by Big IP Advanced WEF. Let's look at the virtual server for the web application we're using in this demo. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. On the virtual server security, policies page. You can see that we already have a security policy attached to this virtual server named 17, logging, security policy. Let's examine the big IP advanced WEF event log. First, we'll filter the event log to view only blocked log entries. Notice how many malicious requests Big IP Advanced WEF has blocked from being sent to the web servers. Let's select this log entry for the php.ini URL. Notice that Big IP Advanced WEF highlights the illegal portion of the request. We can identify several important details of the malicious request, such as the geolocation, the source IP address, and the date and time of the request. Using the All Details button, we can see even more details about this malicious request. Big IP Advanced WEF provides detailed descriptions about the different attack types. We can see that this request was blocked due to two violations. For each violation, we can click the Occurrences option for more details. For example, this malicious request was blocked for trying to access a disallowed file type. We can also see the file type in question, in this case the INA file type. Let's reload the event log and examine the increase in blocked requests. We've noticed several blocked requests from this geolocation. We've decided to block all requests, malicious or otherwise, from this geolocation. We can use this option in the event log to disallow all requests from this geolocation. Notice that we're informed we need to apply the policy for this change to take effect. Now that we've applied the policy, let's use the filter option to find all log entries from this geolocation. Notice that this filter was applied in addition to the previous filter. Let's select this blocked log entry. Notice that we can see that all requests from this geolocation are now being blocked. 
We'd now like to see all malicious requests from this geolocation targeting this URL. We can use the event log to filter based on any of the details that are displayed about the request. Again, this filter was applied to the previous filter, so we're now seeing all blocked requests from Syrian Arab Republic for the vulnerability slash XSSS URL. Once again, we'll reload the event log, but clearing the filter. We can use the event log to filter the request by violation type. For example, we can view all requests with an empty parameter value. Notice that the request section highlights the parameter being violated. We can see from the violation that the parameter was in the query string and it was a URL level parameter. We can also find all requests with an invalid data type input into a parameter. We can see the data that was input, and the expected parameter type. We can see when a parameter name was used more than once in a request. And again the parameter in question is highlighted. We can find all requests with an illegal parameter length. For example, this request had a parameter value of 1934 characters, while the parameter is configured with a maximum length of 500 characters. Next, we'll search for requests that included a cross-site scripting attack. We'd now like to see all requests of this attack type in all geolocations except for the United States. We can use any of the event log request details to exclude entries from the filter. We'll now change the sort order of these requests by geolocation. We're now viewing all cross-site scripting attacks from every geolocation except the United States. In the second part of this demo, we'll examine the big IP advanced WEF reports. We'll start with the application traffic report. and change the time range to the last hour. This page contains several built-in reports showing big IP advanced WEF request data, in many different formats. We can customize any of these charts or lists. For example, we'd like to view the top URLs by request using a pie chart. Currently, this chart shows all requests. However we'd like to view only the blocked requests. We can adjust several aspects of the built-in charts and lists. We now have a custom pie chart displaying only blocked requests by URL in the past hour. To simplify this reports page, we can also delete any of the default charts.
We now have a customized list of big IP advanced WEF reports. And this page will display like this every time we access it. Finally, we'll view the big IP advanced WEF application charts page. We can use this page to create custom, on demand charts. We'll change the time period to the last hour and the chart type to stacked. We'll then drill down to the DVWA virtual server. And then view only the blocked requests. We are now viewing all blocked requests, by attack type, in the past hour. The big IP advanced WEF report data is compiled every 5 minutes. At each 5 minute period, we can see the exact number of requests for each attack type. We'll now change this chart to view the blocked requests by the originating client country. By default, each chart shows only the top 10 items. In this case, the top 10 geolocations of blocked requests. We'd like to view more geolocations in this report. We're now viewing the top 40 originating geolocations of blocked requests against our web application. At any time, we can create and download a PDF of the report we're viewing in the configuration utility. Next, we'd like to get more details about the attacks against the vulnerability slash XSSR URL. Using this link. We're redirected to the event log. With a filter for blocked requests, in the past hour, for the vulnerability slash XSSR URL. Let's return to the application, traffic page. And change the time period to the last hour. We'd like to get a PDF of the top violations this past hour. We can use this link to redirect us to the big IP advanced WEF reports page. viewing the details that were displayed in the widget, and we could now download our PDF file. Thank you for watching this demonstration on using the built-in F5 Big IP Advanced WEF logging and reporting. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos, and for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Network Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, Contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.